Okay, to be serious, population growth. This is, this is, you know, okay, I just, I was raised on the idea that there's too many people, too many people, blah, blah, Um, I know there's a population crisis. My, my belief is that that is misuse of resources. So, what do you think, given a hypothetical? Let's say you had a, an idealized, um, social system. Doesn't even matter what the rules are, we're just going to idealize it straight to the functional part, okay? It is able to uh, use resources fairly. Okay, people stay alive. The maximum number of people uh, survive and treat each other well. Okay, so if there's a limit where people are packed so tight they can't treat each other well, um, they can't learn a method. Uh, what is that limit? What do you, th you know, assuming we had efficient resource, you know, you know, the people weren't robbing people. But, I mean, basically, my premise is this planet can sustain even more people. And the reason we're having trouble with this level is because people are robbing each other. People predate on other people, which means they look for people uh, to take advantage of. And... I think we could have a system where you just look for people to cooperate with and every transaction is a collaboration and uh, we don't have to have predation. I think predation is costing uh, humanity uh, because we have this kind of predation where we do keep people alive but we allow people to victimize them. This is a sort of a turn of misery and of course not everybody is kept alive. But, um, you know, it's it, it, instead of like predation in the, net, in the nature in the natural world where and no I haven't been drinking this is just how I am actually I'm procrastinating work at the moment and I'm drinking coffee but anyway um, uh, I don't particularly want I speak I do not prepare what I'm going to say I want to speak extemporaneously which means choosing my words sometimes this way I miss choosing but anyway I think we are losing, uh, um, anyway, predation in nature, there's actually coals, herds, and stuff. In our case, it's just a metaphor, and we're not even doing the predation. We're just robbing people. It's more like parasitism, because uh, you don't actually kill and eat and thin the herd. You just weaken, weaken them, weaken them. And I think that's where our resources are going. And I think if we didn't do that, this planet could probably sustain an amazing number of people. I mean, people would have to pack themselves in at a certain point. But look, even now with all our cities, look, look I mean, the cities could be green, they could be clean, they don't have to be filled with smog and crime. That's the problem. You know, get rid of smog and pollution, you know, significant pollution um, and, uh, and crime in the cities. And then we'll see about overpopulation. Oh, but you say, oh, no, those things are due to overpopulation. Well, bullshit on that. That's not excuses and going with me. No. The cities are full of crime because of this human predation is, is the norm. They're in a social system that, that institutionalizes uh, exploitation. And so it's recapitulated in, throughout society. Um, if you had a properly built city and you just didn't build ghettos, you just built things um, reasonable and that would be maintained and you know, again, like just hypothetically, if, if robots did the infrastructure, so there was really no excuse not to have it, you know, with all the labor was for free because even the energy, the robots went and got it, you know, just hypothetically, then, you know, there would be no excuse, now people might think of excuses or might say without an excuse, just, well, whatever, we're going to battle, we're going to make warbots and attack you, fine. I hypothesize that away.